I want to talk to you about something really, really important, and that's what's going on with vape pens. And so I've dug down, I've done a lot of research, and I've got some answers. And it boils down to three things. And the first thing is the metal parts that are inside of the vape cartridges themselves. Terpenes are actually solvents as well. And those solvents, those terpenes are hitting those metal parts and heavy metals are leaching out and people are smoking that. The other is black market pesticide abuse because most people aren't aware that when they take regular bud and they concentrate it down, if it has pesticides on that bud, the pesticides themselves get concentrated down into what you're smoking. And then the third one is the cutting agents, what's being used. We're going to address all three of them. Now, you're lucky because today I happen to have an expert with me. His name is Jeff Holman and he's with Q Cups and he has part of the solution. Jeff, thank you for being here hey, Mike, and it's explaining pleasure, to all the listeners out there what's going on with vape pens. So take it away. What's going on? So as you described, there are three major problems. Mm -hmm. uh, the first of which obviously is the heavy metals that are coming off of and leaching onto the oil mm -hmm. that are, that's while they're in contact. Um, the second part is the pesticides and the third part is the cutting agent. So let's take number one first. Sure. So not all, it's a twofold problem. Okay. Not only are the terpenes, as you described them, mm -hmm. leaching the heavy metals out of yes. those coils, but then when you heat, when the vapor uses the pen and heats it up hundreds of degrees, they're compounding that problem. Right, just like the pesticide mycobutanol that's being used, exactly. it turns to hydrogen cyanide when they're smoking, and, and so they have patients taking in hydrogen cyanide, the same thing that they use on death row. Correct. That's exactly right. And that's what people are taking into their lungs. Yeah. So we have a solution for that, and we'll get to that in a oh, moment. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the third problem, though, that we started to talk yeah. about was the cutting agents. Yes. Okay, so when you take an oil, when you take an oil pen, yes. to cut the viscosity from, right, from the pure concentrate, the thickness, right? right from, to take it from a pure solid concentrate, yes. like your wax, your shatter, your batter, your live rosin, your live resin, whatever it might be, they have to cut that with something. It can be a PG, uh, propylene glycol, or vegetable glycerin. Now, or, they have to cut it to put it into a vape pen. Correct. Okay, so you're supposed okay. to have a concentrate. Correct. That's a different story. That's a different story. Correct. So when people are dabbing. Like when I, like, oh, that's why I love dabbing. There you go. Okay. Because it's pure. Right. However, the majority of folks out there hitting these vape pens mm -hmm. are, they're doing it for convenience for the oil. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, now. One of the main reasons that folks are saying that our experts, our doctors are saying that people have been dying recently yes. from the use of vape pens is because of an additive called vitamin E acetate. Yes. Now, when you take vitamin E in forms of pill mm -hmm. or as a lotion, it's it's good for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we take that, we ingest them sure. as vitamins. Right. However, ah. when vitamin E acetate is vaped, it goes into the lungs as a vape but when it cools down, you ever pop open a vitamin E pill and that it's got that oily, sure. greasy sure. substance yeah, in there? Yeah. We used to use it for acne when we were kids back in the day. Yeah. But, so that's what it turns into. It turns into a grease-like substance when it cools down, coats the lungs, and people can't expand their lungs, and that's why they're dying. Oh, wow. So it's a very frightening situation. Thank God it's not widespread because most reputable dispensaries would never use that. Right. Okay. But having said that, there's still a cutting agent in the oil, which is potentially dangerous and also cuts down the potency. Yeah, because what I, I, I was reading a lot about this and the doctors say there is no common link and there's not going to be a common link. I'm guessing because there's three different uh, problems that we're dealing with here. There's too many variables. Yeah, it's going to be real variables. difficult. Yeah. Um, but from the aspect of folks who are vaping pens, oil mm -hmm. pens, as opposed to folks who are dabbing, we have now an on-the-go solution yes. that allows you to get your pure concentrate into a quartz cup, which will prevent the the Q cup, the Q cup, the Q cup. which will into prevent the Q unit. into the Q unit, That's which it. will prevent that substance from coming in contact with the metal coil. That's pretty cool. You described the problem perf perfectly, right. um, and it's been a problem that's been going on since e-cigarettes, which we were one of the first companies to bring into the country 12 years ago. Uh, very quick story. I was well, that's right. So let's just back up. Like, yeah. Like you're one of the original e-cig guys. I'm an OG e-cig guy. You're an OG e-cig guy. For better or worse, I'm an OG e-cig well, guy. That's good though, because 
you foresaw this problem a long time ago. Because I remember you talking about a, uh, about this a year ago. Yeah. I said, I don't know if that's going to be a, such a big problem or not. Yeah. But as it turns out, they're made in China. And, the, and in China, they don't care what they make the metal parts of. No. So people are inhaling lead, mercury, cadmium. Uh, arsenic, arsenic yeah. yeah, aluminum. Oh, oh which, which aluminum has, for all, uh, all fibers mentioned. for aluminum. Yep, yeah, that's absolutely. It, it, it's yep. all being inhaled. Yep. But so, your system is a solution to that. None of that happens. It, it's a hell of a good start. Yeah. So what? Okay. When we looked at the coil twelve years ago, yep. it was exposed, and what they had was what's called a wick system. So a piece of cotton basically went through it. Yep. It looked like a spring. Right. And then there's a piece of cotton that goes through it. The liquid goes into the cotton, touches the metal, and that's how it vapes. Right. Now, it didn't take much more than common sense yeah. to look at that thing and say, well, you yeah, know, a dicey, maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, we always relied upon the studies that came out yeah. and we were real happy, for example, with Public Health England, which is essentially the FDA yes. in England. They came out with a study that said that e-cigarettes and vaping were 95% safer than using a combustible traditional cigarette. Sure. Interesting. And, and we agree with yeah. that. Sure. Having said that, we would like it to be even higher than that. Right. And knowing that there might have been a shortcoming with these heavy metals, we went to work, and this must be five, six, seven years already that we're working on these yeah. solutions, on ways to lessen and or eliminate completely those heavy metals from leaching onto the substances when yeah. they come in contact with the metal and going into the vapor's lungs. Sure. Okay. And then if you look at the oil pens that are out there, oh, yeah. okay, so now you've got a twofold problem. Number one, the substance is sitting there touching the oil, uh, touching the uh, metal coil. You don't mind if I have a pain Not at all. Please enjoy. I, I, as I actually had an implant put into my tooth about an hour ago. Oh, no. And this actually takes away the pain really, really like, fast. It's great stuff. Well, we're going to hit this for you also. and Make sure that you're I'm done completely, that. completely because pain free. There's, because there's, there's, there's more to it than, than just safe hit it's 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 let's start with efficiency a bit. efficiency is just flavor. amazing and the flavor is fucking just killer it's outrageous we'll, we'll, we'll get, we'll get to, we'll, we'll, we will get to all that. right so the twofold problem yes number one you have the oil that's sitting in a pen yep and we recognize this touching the metal coil and the heavy metal toxins leaching during the sitting process that's right then you go ahead and the user hits the power vapes this thing up hundreds of degrees depending on the user preference yep. so now you've got heated metal which is enhancing the problem of allowing yes, those heavy metal toxins that you mentioned. Aluminum, cadmium, arsenic, lead, I, I, I mean mercury, just god awful things for us that, that everybody tells us don't touch these things and we're voluntarily vaping them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so enter this design. Yes. We have the Q cup yep. and we have our Q unit to vape it in. Great. The patented system is as follows. This is a, a, a coil, it's a metal coil. Mm -hmm. But it's cylindrical in nature. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. So what All it allows right. us, thank you. So what it allows us to do is we take our Q cup, mm -hmm. which by the way is a pure quartz cup. Mm -hmm. It's only, it's tiny. And you can fill those system. up yourself or you can buy them pre-filled. Correct. Okay. And we'll talk about the folks who are pre-filling them right now because right. I got some very reputable people doing it. Absolutely. And I'm proud are. to announce my partnership with them. They're great. So you fill it up halfway and we're very specific in the instructions. Or if you buy it pre-loaded, you don't have to worry about that. Already done for you. Exactly. Yeah. Simple. Like a K-cup for coffee. Oh. Just pop it in and you're ready to go. Right. So this is about a 20th of a gram. A 20th of a gram. That's all that's in here. Okay. Now you know. If you took that 20th of a gram, dabbed it directly on a metal coil, how many hits do you get out of it? I might even get like about a quarter hit. There you go. Not that's even not even not one even sometimes. That's right. That's, that's okay. the way I hit. Miraculously. Yep. And this was not by accident. This was a lot of painstaking work. Yep. And research. We, we try, it was yeah. research. It was R&D. Yeah, science. It was, that's exactly right. Yeah. So we found the right combination yep. of size of the cup, yep. size of the coil, diameter, height, everything. It all matters. So it all does matter. Yeah. It really does. Because it's coming in contact with That's correct. The outside the the the, the, the glasses. So we've improved the efficiency from a quarter what, what, what is that made out of by the this way? This is pure quartz. Oh, pure quartz. So these are pure quartz. Q cup. So quartz can, cup. They, they can be quartz. There you go. That's, That's what the, the Q. Q stands for. That's what the Q, right. Q stands for. And so you can heat that to 1000 degrees, no problem. Yes, that's correct. Wow. I think we've been told 1100, but you're right on okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. So, 20th of a gram in here. 20th of a gram. Maximum one hit on a metal coil. Yes. Okay. In my patented cup in my patented coil, you're going to get 8 to 10 hits. And these are full hits. Full hits. Full hits. And you're going to show the folks.
as many as you can. You know, <laughs> I know you will. So what we do is just such a simple system. You saw I removed the holding cap a moment ago. You take the cup, you pop it in. It's that mm -hmm. simple. Goes in, goes out. Very simple. Okay, you pop that in. You put the cap back on. Again, very simple thing to do. And you're now ready to go. All right. We turn the unit on. Yep. It's five clicks it's on. Five clicks like most normal batteries. Sure. You'll see the wattage I've preset to 27 and a half. Okay. We recommend 25 to 30. Okay. You can go higher or lower if you like. Okay. The higher you go, the less of the efficiency is going to be because you're burning it off quickly. Uh-huh. And that's also honestly for more so of a token the, choke. So, so, you're right. Right. Okay. So through all the science, all the research and everything, this has been optimized already for that. It, Just don't mess with it. This is so ready okay. for you. Okay, so yeah. so you hit this thing three times and it's going to preheat yeah. 10 seconds and the display will show that. Okay. When it's done, hold the power button, pause for two or three seconds yeah, yeah. and bask in the wonderful hit you're about to get All right. and then keep holding the button and you're ready to go. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the preheat sequence for you now. Okay. As the camera can see, we're three, four, five as it's going. Oh, wow. you can, yeah, it's, like it's right there for you. We keep it. I give it a kiss. We keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. so that everybody can enjoy it. Hold that button for just a Look couple of seconds. Right That's here, the right one. Here. Yep. And, and you'll take... see the display okay. and just go right to it. You're ready to go. That's a, that's a, that's a nice, that's a, that's a good hit. Now, the flavor. You tell First me. First of all, I don't have all that one cough. And, You're not choking. I'm not, I'm not choking. No. no. And I don't have that, that that horrible deep scratchiness in my throat. And the flavor, you have a full palate. It's kind of like wine or whatever. You, you do that, and you can feel it on, from the uh, the front, the middle, and the back of your palate. Same thing here. And it's still, I can still it's gonna taste linger. the flavor. It's all there. So now here's the big question. Wow. Do you taste? any metal either going in no. or now on your tongue as an aftertaste. Now that you mention that, there's no kind of metallic kind of, t n none of that. Which it's is just, typical with most pens. Yeah. yeah. This is pure, yeah, it's, it's pure, pure product. Yeah, it's, I like it's, it. it's, it's good stuff. Excellent. Thank you. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. That's your Q-Cup. That's how it works. When you finish it, like I showed you before, okay. take it off, undo the cap, wait till it's cool obviously so you don't put okay. your hands. Right. Pop it out and then pop in another one and go at it again. Jeff? Where can people get this unit and okay. the Q-Cups? So, Q-Cups are available now. We just started okay. working with Moxie. Oh, great company. Yeah. I love Moxie. They're great guys. Fantastic. Yep. Long-standing reputation, award-winning company, great, great products. Yep. Couldn't be happier to have their product in my cups. Oh, yeah. Because, frankly, the cups are only as good as the product in it. Yeah. And they so, do it right. They're fantastic. Okay. So, they are putting them now into um, uh, dispensaries and consumption lounges. Uh -huh. And very shortly, they'll have the units out there as well. Truth of the matter is, they just left uh, for the United States today. They're on their way. I'll have them next week. Oh, you're, really? You're, so you're wait, one so, of the first to use it. So wait a minute. So me having you here, but by the way, this wasn't planned this way. This thing is just like right now coming into the marketplace? Right now. Holy shit. Yeah, okay. in about 10 to 15 days. Wow. Be in okay, good. Okay, so, so Moxie's going to have these. So Moxie will have them okay. here in California. Anyone else in California? In California, no. Okay. Not what yet. About Colorado? So Colorado, we have um, the health center. Oh, uh, THC. The, the health center. Yeah. THC, exactly yeah. right. Oh, okay. They're in Denver and Boulder. Oh, good. They'll, uh, they'll be selling them online as well. Okay, uh, there's good. delivery out there. Right. And they will be actually, I'm going to be doing a private brand for them because they have some brand power out there. Sure. Under the new high, N U H I brand. Okay. And they will be, it'll be a co brand of the new high Q Cup unit. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's. that's How do people get hold of you directly if, if they're interested? If they're interested, they can just go to theqcup.com. T H E Q C U P dot com. Okay. And there's a place where they can email us, reach out to us, and our customer service people okay. are working pretty much around the clock. Wow. All right. Yeah. Jeff, thank you for being here. Big Mike, thank and you. And being part of the solution. My pleasure. You heard it. Look for the Q Cup and the Q. What do you call it? The Q. The Q unit. The we Q keep unit. It simple. Keep it simple. The Q Cup and the Q unit. Look for them soon at a dispensary near you.